Hello, I am Shoikat Ganguly from West Bengal. Uh, my title of the paper is Use of Disposable Syringe as a Very Useful Teaching Learning Material in Physical Science. The sub theme is Innovative Use of Low Cost No Cost Material in Learning. Actually, my aims and objectives is to stimulate the young mind towards making innovative tools for learning science and technology. To ensure the participation of every student in the classroom by involving them to do something. To introduce activity based learning in the daily classroom situation. To recycle the waste material like syringe as a teaching tool in effective science learning. To show the use of injection syringe as a tool for science learning both in physics and chemistry. Next. Actually, we have made 15 distinct tools for physical science by using a single material just by two or one disposable syringe which is a very low cost material and we have performed 15 distinct experiment with my selected group of students in physics and chemistry. My methodology is divided into three parts. One uh, baseline survey that is the pre-assessment of the students by giving questionnaire and then exposure of the selected pupils on the use of household material through several classes and the classes will be conducted by icon model through constructivist approach and after that post assessment is done of the same selected pupils after giving inputs on the activity based learning. Now that is the first experiment upward and downward thrust due to air pressure only two syringes are required and one connecting tube and a small balloon. Whenever you push the piston the inside air pressure will increase and whenever you pull the piston then inside air pressure will be decreased. Verification of Pascal's law. Actually, there is a small hole in the wall of the syringe. Whenever you push the plunger, then the stream of the water will come out perpendicularly with the tangent of the curved surface of the syringe. And that is why it may be verify the Pascal's law. That is the principle of hydraulic pressure. That is the application of Pascal's law. There is two water filled syringe is required. And whenever you push the small piston, you have the multiplied thrust multiplied thrust from the larger piston that is the principle of hydraulic press. This is the experiment of qualitative verification of Boyle's law. Just a balloon and a syringe is required. Whenever you push the plunger, the inside pressure is increase and whenever you pull the plunger, it will decrease. So, it can be verified the uh, relation between volume and pressure at a fixed mass and temperature of a gas. That is verification of uh, conservation of mass. Uh, you require uh, just two syringe, one is uh, smaller and one is larger in diameter and a saline tube controller. And you may uh, push the plunger by uh, mixing two liquid, two reacting liquids, but after and before the reaction, the weight becomes same. It can be verified by the spring balance set in it. That is a Joule Thompson experiment. Whenever you blow air from the larger nozzle, then uh, cool air is coming out and whenever you blow from the uh, smaller nozzle then hot air will come that is the Joule Thompson effect. That is the uh, experiment of water level equality versus air pressure. Water level only will be equal when the two ends are in the equal pressure. Uh, that is the use of syringe as a thistle funnel. You can uh, make the syringe as a thistle funnel with a needle and you may add acids or other liquids in any reacting chamber and you may make any gas under normal temperature through this apparatus. So, syringe is a thistle funnel. Next. So, this is a measurement of volume of liquid droplet. It can be done by only one syringe. This is very simple. Syringe is as a separating funnel. Separating funnel is very costly material, but we are using a syringe. We can easily separate two or three immiscible liquids through it. That is the inflation of balloon that is very interesting at normal atmospheric pressure just one syringe uh, without piston is required. A smaller balloon is inserted in the uh, closer mouth and uh, when we uh, release the water from the syringe then it will be inflated at the normal atmospheric pressure. That is the depression of boiling point of a liquid you may call the Franklin's experiment. Whenever you push the uh, pull the plunger then the inside air pressure will drop and thereby the boiling point of the liquid will decrease and it will start boiling. It is the uh, apparatus of preparing gas itself by a syringe. 
it is very useful and you may ignite the gas through the needle of the syringe if the gas is combustible. Use of syringe as a burette and pipette. You may use a syringe as a burette and pipette and you may calculate the quantitative data and you may uh, perform the exact data from titration by using a syringe as a burette and pipette also. This is a syringe as a uh, collecting gas from the electrolysis uh, and where and this is my uh, result. Actually, it is a la, uh, rough blueprint of my questionnaire. There are 20 questions uh, of 10 marks, half of X marks, and uh, you know the knowledge based questionnaire is avoided here consciously. After post assessment, we find that uh, the application understanding and skill level will increase for each of the students. Uh, there are 50 students in my groups, so the knowledge and understanding without knowledge understanding application skill level is increased for each of the students this is the group activity of my students next thank you